My name is Nova and I'm a sneaker reseller. Join me in my journey where I turn hype sneakers into riches. Four of those orders did get canceled, but if they do ship out the remaining three orders that didn't get canceled, that would still be a really big W. We have another dunk low that will be dropping very, very soon. Check that one. About 28 checkouts for the Jordan 14s. They are canceling about 70 to 80 percent of my orders. We got five pairs of Jordan 1 tie dyes. Tomorrow we do have more drops, face hippie collection. We'll see how I end up doing in the next episode. All right, so we got some bad news. I thought that the whole collection was going to be dropping today, but it will not be on most Shopify websites. The only website that it's going to be dropping on is really the Nike sneakers app and the websites that we're going to be dropping them is only going to be dropping the 04 model which is basically a brick I do not want to get that just not going to go for it I'm only interested in the one two and three model those are going to be the more profitable ones um, I might go for the 04 on Nike sneakers too just because they have free returns so we're just going to wait until 10 o'clock to try to cop these shoes We got some packages in the mail, time to unbox. First up, we got the red dunks in a size eight and a half. Damn, these are nice, bro. This is, oh my God, the leather. Whew, that is really, really nice. Oh my gosh. I can't stop touching the shoe, it's amazing. It also comes with extra white laces. And we also have a couple of packages from Foot Locker. I have no idea what this is, but we're gonna find out. Oh, that is a nice box. We got one size 10 and a half and one size nine and a half. And I bet these look amazing. God damn. I need myself a pair of Jordan 14s because, oh my God, so clean. No wonder why the resale price on this is freaking awesome by the ways it seemed like holding general release sneakers might be the move because if you look at the unc 3s and the jordan 11 breads prices on those on stadium goods is about 400 dollars for most sizes basically if you were botting you could have gotten as many as you wanted for those releases and now the prices are looking freaking amazing and I'm really sad that I didn't hold on to most of my pairs. I really didn't expect the prices to go up that high that soon, but they did. So yeah, we'll see what the prices end up being on these maybe like four to five months from now. I won't be surprised if it's around like $400 as well. Speaking of stadium goods, I am going to be shipping out more shoes over there. I got this really big box. So I'm just going to stuff it with a bunch of shoes. Honestly, these are shoes that I wish I could hold on to for longer, but it's getting a little bit out of control in my house. I need to get 
rid of shoes and send them over because I have too many shoes. I'm running out of space. I feel like I've been saying that for the longest time because honestly, most of the shoes that I'm holding onto right now, including like all the Jordan 1 Royal Toes, I feel like they're gonna double or triple in price in the next year or so. And these are holds that I want to make for as long as possible. But if I just keep scooping up shoes at the rate in which I do, then obviously I will have to like go of some shoes as well. So I guess that's a good problem to have because regardless of whether or not I let go of them now or later on, I still make decent profits. The Jordan 5 grapes were supposed to be dropping today. However, the vast majority of retailers decided to push their release back one day. So most of the stores are going to be dropping tomorrow instead. I think I'm gonna like try to aim for 10 pairs that ship out. So far we got one from Kith, size 10 and a half. I do believe these should have a similar resale price as the Jordan 14 Toros. Be also very likely it would have the same price trend as the Jordan 14 Toros. Speaking of price trend, the 14 Toros absolutely plummeted in price. They are still profitable. However, I don't know. I guess people started getting their pairs in and everybody just started undercutting each other. I don't know what the deal is with that. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of people who are very upset that the price did drop. It is to be expected for prices to drop when people start getting their pairs in, but they drop a lot. So hopefully they don't continue dropping because that would be bad for me, but it would be good for people who do want them as personals. Anyways, Jordan 5s, we're gonna go for them. We'll see how we end up doing tomorrow. Okay, Jordan 5 grape release didn't exactly go to plan. All of my orders got canceled except for the ones from East Bay, which I believe is the only remaining foot site that has not yet implemented their new payment processor. However, I am glad about the timing of this release because then we can use the information that we've gathered from this release and be able to apply it to a more important release such as the Jordan 1s. As of right now, resellers only have a vague idea of what we should do to prevent cancellations, but basically getting multiples to a single address is going to be much more difficult now than before. There are some things we can do to get around this, however, it looks like their payment processor is really good at identifying who you really are despite different IP addresses, jigged profiles, and things of that nature. In other news, we did make some sales. I had three shoes from Stadium Goods that ended up selling. And we also had a few more Jordan 14 Toros that came in the mail and I was able to sell a size 10 and a half to a neighbor for $260. Anyways, we do have Supreme 
vans dropping. We are going to be going for the high top versions in both colors. This time I'm more prepared. I have many different jig profiles to try and get around the bands and the blacklist if I am blacklisted. So we're gonna try to run for it. As always with Supreme, I'm not expecting much. However, this time I am running both Mech and Kodai. So we'll see how I end up doing. Yo, what the fuck just happened to my captures? Like, it's just not showing up on the solvers. Bro, I am such an idiot. I figured out what I did wrong with the captures. Okay, so if you go over here, it says capture harvester counts as how many capture harvesters you want, right? Obviously. So then I hit sign up. I thought that meant like sign up to like the gmail like log in right obviously they're different but um my brain was telling me this meant log in but but this is supposed to only be used for the supreme in-store sign ups that's what that means so i literally had the wrong capture harvesters up that's why it wasn't solving any captures I was supposed to hit default, which is for the online releases. And uh, yeah, I'm a dummy. 100% my fault. This was not attributed to me like being blacklisted or me being unlucky. It just came down to me being a dummy. So the Grape Fives restocked a little bit earlier today. I got a total of four checkouts and surprisingly one of them did not get cancelled. This was from Foot Locker by the way. So these are profiles that normally don't get cancelled. We haven't really figured that out however we still do have that one checkout that didn't get cancelled so I know that one profile should be good and ready to go for this Saturday. Anyways we do have five boxes to open up so let's get to it. That is a beautiful color. What is that? Can I just take that out? Yep. This color combination is actually super duper dope. It's another one of those shoes where as soon as you open it, it just hits you like, holy crap, that is nice. I personally think it's a work of art, but I definitely would not put these on my feet. It's just uh, not my personal preference. Here we have another two easy quantum bariums, one in a size nine and the other in a size seven and a half. Prices on these definitely not looking as good as they used to before. Uh, I guess it is just a little bit too weird for the masses. We have another Jordan 1 mid in a size eight and a half. Now these bricked so hard, I might as well return it. However, I did sell one for a decent price. So I'm not gonna complain about that. And it does have decent potential to go up over time. But hopefully they can get these listed on stadium goods sometime soon because I think it will do all right over there. And lastly, we have another Jordan 14 Toro in a size 10 and a half. Coming up in about two days, we have the Jordan 1 Smoke Grays and the Yeezy 700s. Those two drops are super duper hype. I don't even know if I'm ready for them being that foot sites keep changing things up, but I am gonna try to get as many of both of these shoes as possible. However, I really don't like it when more than one sneaker drops on the same day because there's usually a lot of overlap. So I really have to pick and manage which websites I have to go for. It's gonna be really interesting. I'm really excited and hopefully we can get a bunch of them. We're gonna see how I end up doing on those releases on the next episode.